Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming up to you with an unboxing of my wallet on chain or a wok from Yves Saint Laurent, YSL mostly known as. And I also did purchase a um, card holder but I will do a separate review on that one. So we will only unbox uh, the or we will unbox both because they're in the same package but apart from that i will do a separate video on the card holder so let's see here this is i think it's a new packaging or maybe i haven't i don't recall the old packaging but let's see if we can dig out the box and this is how it looks. Did I manage to scratch? Oh, maybe there was some. I noticed that there were two separate boxes. So therefore, in this little box, there is the card holder. And I will do a separate video on that one. So we'll just put that one aside. I thought they were in the same box, but they were in separate boxes. This wallet on chain, by the way, I did purchase at Encore in Stockholm. And I have been looking at this for a while but I decided to wait because at Encore the YSL store there you can earn points and uh, to Encore's loyalty program and therefore this weekend it was double points so you reach different levels and for me I've always tried to purchase when it's double you earn double points or you do earn triple points since it's so much easier to earn earn, earn points that you can then transform into money uh, with purchases. Let's see. I noticed that this box really easy gets marks and scratches. No, they were right. I can remove them. It was like, yep, yeah, never mind with that. Let's take a look. Here is a little booklet. Uh, I haven't purchased, like I said, from YSL in like it's been really many years, and that was only when I purchased a card holder as a gift. So this is my actually no, it's my second. I have had a um, a clutch from YSL, but I I purchased the large one of the clutches. I have a video on that, by the way, if you want to take a look at my channel. Uh, I should have purchased a smaller one because the large was a little bit too large for everyday needs. Maybe I will try to eventually one day repurchase a smaller one. But the large one wasn't for me, even though I do really love that one. Uh, but this is how the dust bag looks like. And... Here is the beautiful wallet on chain. I chose the one in sil with silver hardware. And um, this is how it looks inside. Uh, what I can fit in this... Uh, th there was a smaller version of, of the wallet on chain in the same caviar leather style. Which I was debating a lot between. Mainly because I do want something really small. But enough to be able to fit my phone, my keys... And my job keys and maybe some little kind of miscellaneous stuff as well. Uh, some female products or maybe a, a lipstick or something like that. But a bag that was small enough to be able to easily place in larger bags like in a tote or in a book bag. And But I do have lacked something small that I can just take like a little card holder or I mean since this is a wallet on chain you can just place your credit card or debit cards in the back at the slots here uh, but something that I could easily have just to for running errands or to go to lunch at work when I don't want to grab my entire uh, tote or book bag but at the same time having a wallet your phone and your keys and then you're off where it's crowded a lot of people. I felt that it's not really a secure thing any longer. So therefore, I um, I decided to go for this one. And let's see. Can I remove the... And this is how the beautiful chain looks. Uh, and this 
chain is quite long i am by the way 152 and a half centimeters or 5.0 more or less uh, so i usually I, and i did try this on in store to get a shorter shoulder strap i do place the strap so it lies like this inside and then i close it and then the shoulder drop length is so much shorter and then i can also wear it with the full length cross body but for me to just wear it as a shoulder bag the the, the chain drop or the drop at the drop from my shoulder to where the bag actually ends up is it's too long uh, it, it probably works perfect if you're a taller person but this was a really good way for me to do it uh, i have done it on other wallets on chains that i've had previously uh, we're going to take a look inside this bag this has let's see if we can i can show you this it has one back compartment or back uh, where you can put something i maybe i would put you probably maybe I would put bills if I would ever have any because here in Sweden we in general use credit cards. Then you have card slots. Let's see. It's five on each side, meaning that it's ten at total. I don't know actually why it's so many because I don't think anyone uses ten card slots in on a wallet or chain unless they're having this as their permanent wallet or something like that but for me two or three would have been more than enough but it's 10 so it's good to know it has one compartment in the middle which is a zip compartment uh, and then it has another compartment in the front so on total it's one in the back two large compartments uh, and a zipper compartment in the middle so it's divided into three sections or three and a half second sections if you count the back pocket. It has no back pocket on the back of the uh, bag itself. I did, by the way, when I went for this, uh, I found one in lambskin that was really beautiful. And it's this calfskin leather is quite stiff. It will soften up. They have been told it, it, further on. And I also have a friend who has this bag and it is smoother as they use it. They had a really beautiful one in lambskin, but I realized that it's really super easy to scratch. And since the plan with this bag also is to place it in other bags, I maybe I'll still even place it in a dust bag. But with the lambskin, one of the versions that I had, they had this the same one in lambskin which is quite new but they also had it in the smaller version of the same style Walton Shea uh, which only has one compartment in the middle uh, it could easily fit my phone my keys but it was still a little bit too small but that one existed in a really beautiful lambskin plain version but it was so so soft and so delicate that they, even the ones that they had in store were really super scratched and um, as a other customer tried to look at it at the same time she by mistake also did manage to scratch it just a little bit and she was not doing anything on purpose at all and that's when i realized how delicate that one really is and um, i knew that if i have a bag that is so delicate i would just be bothered about it. and even if you can buff it out a little bit i felt that it, it was a little bit too, too lambskin was a little bit too much for me on that particular bag I know also that there's different kind of lambskin and all of that. But with that said, I um, will come back to you and do a little more of a review when I have used this bag. But it looks really beautiful. It's a little bit larger than I anticipated. Uh, in a, a lot of ways, that's good. I do think, though, that if they would have skipped this middle compartment here and placed the zipper compartment in the front, which it is it is on the small version i do think that the bag would have been easier to put more things in because the always uh, sections or dividers or compartments do in general make you be able to fit less things but with that said this is my new uh, wallet on chain it's my first luxury wallet on chain i have had other smaller ones and I can't do this with one handed bags empty, so we're gonna leave it open. Okay, now and this chain 
by the way, is also detachable. Uh, I just right now placed it inside. But as you can see, this bag also works perfectly as a clutch, a, an evening clutch. So I think that a really good thing with this handbag is that it transforms really easy. It could be a casual crossover bag of a body bag easily but it could also so easy transform into a really really elegant sophisticated and timeless uh, clutch i'm personally am not much for clutches so therefore this will or it won't be worn as a clutch very often but i do think that it's um, a good alternative and it's really good to know because if you do tend to use it more i would say as a really large wallet on a chain then it could be so easy to know that you can also remove these um, the chain and this is how it looks from the exterior And another good thing that I really did like is that it's not really much of a glazing issues with the bag because it's st stitched and sewn together. The hardware, I think maybe I did mention it earlier in the video, you have to be prepared that it's going to get scratches. Of course, try to avoid it as much as you can as with anything but it i mean since it's not flat it's actually the metal piece is a little bit above everything i mean it's gonna it's what you're gonna hit it's what you might rub a little bit but i don't see that much as an issue so i will come back to you do a full more review of pros and cons for me and how I experienced wearing this bag on a day-to-day -day basis because that's pretty much what it's intended for uh, and I will do a review on that uh, if you watched so far thank you so very much for watching if you would like to see more videos from me don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up Take care of yourself and thank you so very, very much for watching. Bye-bye.